For this exercise, you will need a long resistance band or you can do it with a cable machine if you don't have a long resistance band. If doing it with a band, make sure you tie it to somewhere sturdy like a squat rack, for example, or just some kind of pillar or post in the gym. When doing this exercise, you're gonna squat down and press out the band in front of you. Now, when you're doing this, you want to make sure that you're keeping your body completely forward. So no rotation of the hips, no rotation of the chest. So I'm gonna show you what a rep looks like that looks a bit nasty. There we go. So I was stepped out way too far there. So I've brought myself back in and now I'm able to keep that tension on the band and keep that tension within my core as I press forward. Now I don't actually have a great deal of tension on this band whatsoever. Um, you might actually feel like you don't really need a hell of a lot of tension whatsoever to feel that uh, twist, that pull from the band. And essentially what we're doing here is we're training our core stability muscles, but we're also training our posterior core stability muscles. So a lot of people who struggle with um, sort of squatting and getting pain in their lower back or, you know, just not feeling like they've got a strong enough core, this exercise is really, really good for that. You might not feel it in your midriff, there you go, there was a shoddy rep, I took the band out too far. You might not feel this in your midriff, you might actually feel um, this exercise around your kind of lower back and that's what we're targeting really, we're targeting those stability muscles that are going to support our spine as we squat. So as you can see when I stand up there isn't a great deal of tension on that band, I really don't need it, this is challenging enough. So please don't be worried when you finish this exercise if you don't feel that you've done anything in your core, your, your front muscles, uh, your abdominals, we're not really focusing on that, although you will feel some in your obliques and perhaps some abdominals. So as you lower, you're pressing out and as you're uh, coming back up, you're standing back up and bringing the band back in. Okay, so I just wanted to finally go over the breathing technique here because obviously you can see I'm pregnant in this video. Just a note to say though, this is not just a pregnancy exercise. This is a universal exercise, um, but it is also great for pregnancy. So you will see this in the uh, pre and postnatal program. Okay, so I've just set my breath there. So I took a big breath in, I took a breath out and a breath in again. And what I'm doing is breathing out as I press that band out and I get to the bottom of the exercise, the hardest point, and then I'm breathing back in to stand back up. So we breathe out to go down and we breathe in to come back up. And when we're coming back up, when we're breathing in, thinking about connecting our pelvic floor muscles. So imagine that you're trying to tighten up your zip or do up your zip on your jeans as you're coming up, you're tightening your pelvic floor to come up and stand up. Um, and that will definitely help as well with those who are doing lots of heavy squatting um, and really want to support their pelvic floor, whether you're pregnant, not pregnant, not planning to get pregnant. This is a really great exercise for those deep core and pelvic floor muscles. So I hope you enjoy. <laughs> 